Hello YouTube, it is Champion DJK coming at you with another 10 Car Tuesday episode. This one's sponsored by my friends SC Diecast. Sort of local to me, uh, good people. You can find them on uh, Facebook. There's their Gmail address. Um, you can find them on Facebook, their eBay store, which is Oldies Junkie 77 and Instagram. So check them out. If you haven't watched the video the day before this one, I show a massive haul of cars that I got from SC Diecast. In this one, we're going to go ahead and do a traditional 10 car Tuesday episode. It's going to be all green light. And we're going to start with this Gas Monkey Garage 1968 Shelby GT500 KR. I believe it's from Hollywood. Yes, Hollywood Series 19, which uh, copyright date 2018. So this one didn't come out uh, too long ago. Um, I picked it up because I did not have an example of this tooling. And this tooling is sort of interesting because it is actually a Shelby Collectibles tooling, I believe. Which, if you don't remember Shelby Collectibles, I don't know where they were all sold. Um, I know for sure they were sold at Toys R Us when Toys R Us was around. Um, but I don't know where else they were sold. So it has an opening hood. The body's kind of loose. It's put together with screws. It feels kind of loose. I wonder if I can tighten it up a little bit. Uh, no. But anyway. Opening hood. Opening doors. They're pretty detailed uh, little toolings. No, the door functionality is actually really good. Uh, full size spare tire in the back there. Got some inserted detail for the tail lights. Seeing some inserted detail for the headlights are actually pretty nice. Um, so these castings are pretty nice. Of course, they're limited in what they can do because they were Shelby collectibles. So there was no, you know, you're not going to get anything but Shelby's, obviously. So if you're a Mustang fan, stuff like that, you would probably like them quite a bit. Uh, but yeah. This one's number 8170. This is likely not going to have a tooling number, and it does not. And that would be because it is not a green light tooling, even though it says green light on the base there. So they either purchased the tooling, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this all works. Anyway, it's all right. That's pretty cool. There's the first car. Uh, second car we'll take a look at is the 1987 Pontiac Trans Am GTA Speed, Green Light Speed Series. I have the green machine of this car. It's pretty nice. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at the non greeny This is copyright date 2007. So it's pretty old. Old enough. This comes with a... Um, Barrett Jackson card. Man, that car looks cool. Honestly, if I got a chance to like get like a total mint condition Firebird, I probably would pick something like that. That's probably what it would look like. Even like that, the gold rims look pretty sweet on it. So look at this thing. That's super cool. Definitely dig it. Looks really good. Uh, it does have an opening hood. I just don't think I'm going to bother opening it up. I mean, I could. I'm sure it would shut okay, but it's just not. This uh, The base looks somewhat oxidized a little bit. Um, 4196 there is the serial number. It, this uh, Firebird is tooling number 26. Sweet, nice gloss black, quality, quality, quality. Green rivet means that it's older. Um, and the older green light stuff, I don't know, I've just become a, a real big fan of it. Um, here is the custom 1964 Plymouth Fury Max Wedge from the Muscle Car Garage Stock and Custom Series. In this crazy looking purple, green, yellow, uh, paint job with the green interior, total Joker esque. Uh, this is copyright date 2007. It's from Muscle Car Garage Series 4. So the stock and custom thing is pretty neat. A neat idea. 
Um, I believe they did a stock version of each one of these cars. So this is the custom, obviously, with this, this paint job. But I believe they also did a stock version of each one of the cars. It comes with this card here. And there is your crazy looking car. It's wacky. It's not like, you know, I, I typically like to collect stock vehicles and stuff. But, you know, since this is... The flame stuff is somewhat out of character for Greenlight. So... I mean, it was in character probably back when they put these out, but, you know, you don't... They haven't put anything, like, crazy out like this in a while, I don't think. Uh, 41, 18. They've been really focused on realism, and that's cool. That's cool. But, you know, it would be realistic to have a car in a custom paint job, too. Uh, GL024. Actually, Greenlight's mostly focused, on, I think, well, in my opinion, seem to be focused a lot on just different licenses and trying to get different licenses and putting stuff out, like the Hollywood series, like other stuff. Um, running on empty, you know, like BF Goodrich, STP graphic stuff, you know. They're just kind of, they do a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff like that. Anyway, this casting has a plastic top because it is also available as a convertible. Not this particular re release, but the tooling is available as a convertible. Pretty wild one. Here's another wild one. This is a. This is from Muscle Car Garage, the Up in Flames series. So all the cars had flamage. So these are called compressed flames, I guess. And it is a Dodge Challenger RT. This is in Series 2, uh, 2009. So it must be Series 2 of the Up and Flame series. Um, it does tell you, I guess, something about the uh, the flames. So, so, I mean, it's been a long time, I think, since flames have been really cool on a car. When you're a kid, though, um, it's cool. And we're all kind of children at heart, right? Collecting these little toy cars. Or sorry, these adult die-cast collectibles. And Green Rivet, tooling number 40, 4403. I almost didn't pick this one up because it looks so cheesy. Uh, but I decided what the heck and grabbed it. It's different. I've got a lot of I've got a lot of versions of this tooling, so I didn't really need it. But I was like, uh, whatever. Let's get one with a goofy flame job on it. So there's your goofy flame job cars. Uh, this next one, this is sort of a series similar to the stock and custom, I believe. Um, I don't know much about it. This is street and strip. So I believe they had. Drag strip versions of castings and street versions of castings. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it was just drag strip stuff because it looks like there was only six cars in the case. Um, according to this, Muscle Car Garage Series Nine, street and strip, meaning it can go on the street and on the drag strip. That's what it means, right? It's not like the stock and custom series where they had stock versions and custom versions of the same casting in the lineup um so i got this one this roadrunner and um the, the reason why i picked it up is just because it looks so darn cool uh i already have a ton of versions of this tooling and they just make so many dang cool looking versions of this car that um it's hard not to pick some of them up even though like, I literally have a... Like, I try to collect uh, green light where I'm not collecting a ton of the same tooling. But for some reason, I keep coming across this one. Uh, and it looks really, really good. And I'm like, ugh, I gotta pick that up. Especially if it's an older green light, which it is. 5012, tooling number 29C. Copyright 2007 on the tooling itself. But this is a great piece. Um, it looks awesome. Absolutely digging that one. Oh, I keep forgetting that I have a humidifier in here. I need to turn it off when I start to film. I don't know if you guys can even hear it or not, but if you can, I'm sorry if that, that is annoying. 
Um, this next one, I this I believe is a Shelby Collectibles tooling as well. Well, used in green light. This is gone in 60 seconds. The Eleanor Mustang, 1967 Mustang. Uh, it's from Hollywood Series 7. So, getting somewhat old now, I probably think. Oh, 2014, so maybe not that old. They put out so many series in a year. I mean, I guess it's kind of old. Six years old now. So, here's the... Uh, the tooling. And I'm pretty sure this is a Shelby Collectibles tooling. Looks really nice. And yes, it is. Okay, so screws in the uh, base. Green light. Oh, maybe it's not. It's got a green light tooling number of GLO81, which makes you think, why isn't this one done? If they converted the tooling over. I don't understand it. I do not, but I'm really doubting that this was actually a green light tooling to begin with. GL81, unless they were just experimenting with this. I'm pretty sure this was a Shelby Collectibles tooling. It's got lens detail up front. It's got inserted detail in the back. It's a very nice looking tooling. And it's got opening doors, which, and an opening hood. And it definitely kind of screams, I am a Shelby Collectibles tooling. I'm pretty sure it is. Might have to try to fix that door. We got a little quality control issue here. Don't want to break it. Well, the nice thing is this thing is put together by screws, so I could take it apart and fix it. Won't be doing that on camera, but it should be able to be done. So, I'll probably do that before I upload the video, though. All right, so anyway, there's that. And then, this next one is a 1971 Pontiac GTO Judge. You guys know I'm a fan of this tooling, a fan of this car. Um, it is from GL Muscle Series 6. So after they stopped doing uh, Muscle Car Garage, they changed it to GL Muscle in releasing them. This one actually comes with a little uh, gas pump here. And these also come with a card. Uh, it came out in 2013. So there is the car. I'm trying to get out the little accessory that comes with it. Or that was a soda machine, not a gas pump. What am I thinking? 25 cent. And there's the card. Does it say back there, T-Bone? It's pretty cool. I save all those cards for whatever reason. Uh, I save all these little things too. I've got a ton of ton of little accessories and stuff like that. Maybe eventually I'll use when I start doing dioramas someday. Number 1122. Uh, tooling number 36. No green ribbon on this one. It's a little bit too new. It's a great one, though. Love the color of it. Maybe the green's a little off-putting on the brown, but the brown looks really awesome. So, yeah, I'm digging that one. Digging, checking another uh, GTO off of the list. Very, very, very cool. All right, moving on. Let's see if we got. Let's do another GTO real quick. Here is the custom '67 Pontiac GTO. So in the Lee's, it's all about the toys. www.leestoyreview.com. So this has to be some sort of. Could you call it hobby exclusive? I think it's a hobby. Well, I guess you could call it a hobby exclusive. It's exclusive probably to this one hobby dealer or Lee's Toy Review or whatever this was. And I don't even know what it was. Um, came out in 2006, though, is the copyright date of this. So this is pretty old in green light terms. It comes with that. So might have to check out the website and see if it's still there. I have no idea. Uh, but here it is. It is the uh, 
other GTO tooling from Greenlight. Number 466, no idea what it's limited to. Uh, it's an older tooling, 003, which of course it would be an older tooling if it had that age on it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, let's check out the opening hood. Snapshot. The tooling's nice. It's all painted detail. It's hard to do white on a white background. It really makes this look the paper that I'm doing this on look dirty. But this paper only lasts almost one episode here. And then it gets marks all over it from the dust. See, look at that. All over it very, very easily. And it's weird, too, how dirty these cars. Actually, I'm going to save this one for last. Let's do this one. <clears throat> How dirty these cars get, even like, or come out, even out of a sealed package. Uh, here's a 1977 Plymouth Trail Duster, and man, does that thing look awesome. I should have picked this thing up when it came out. Why did I not do that? It's in All Terrain Series 2. All Terrain is a great series from Green Line. It's one, of my, it's one of the coolest series. I like when they do the smaller trucks in it, like this Plymouth Trail Duster. Copyright date 2015. Let's go ahead. Open it up. Take it out. So, I don't know if this is a desirable one or not, but if it's not, it should be, I think. It's just a great looking truck. I think it's proportioned pretty well. Um, I like the graphic on it, I think it looks great. Spare tire in the back. see the visors up front um, this one I believe has an opening hood not all castings have opening hoods from green lights so sometimes you gotta check there you go so it does have an opening hood and it's number 4276 the tooling number is is it that it's a 42 interesting I didn't think the tooling was that old to be 42 but check that out rolls really nice this is a great piece awesome one to add to the collection very 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 cool so that is sweet and then finally let's look at this thing how's that for weird here's the 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV Look at that ugly, ugly thing. Yeah, it's kind of cute, right? It's a little guy. Yeah, weird tooling. I don't think they released this thing too many times. I, I'm, I know it's been, I know it showed up in like um, dioramas. It's copyright date 2017, so it's not that old. Goofy choice of a tooling to do, but I guess leave it up to Greenlight to make some goofy choices because uh, they definitely make some goofy choices. And that's both. Um, that's both a compliment and a knock at the same time. All right, so the Chevy Bolt EV, your daily routine mastered. 200 mile range from the Bolt. Um, it's pretty nice tooling. It is. Uh, 2136 is the serial number I guess you could call it the tooling number is 099 so it really tells you like they're up over 200 right now and this is from 2017 I think they're up over 200 for toolings maybe they're not maybe they're maybe they're not. I know they're at least at like 150 whatever anyway it just goes to show you they put out a lot of toolings a year <laughs> what a weird choice though but they did a good job on this little car I mean it's kind of neat it's got lens details up front for headlights. It's painted right there. Looks okay. Uh, painted taillights looks, I mean, okay. Wheels look all right. It rolls. Um, it's a heavy little guy because it's got that metal base and solid metal body. Yeah, you know, a strange choice for sure. But I hate to say it, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. So, there's your Chevy Bolt EV. 
Electric vehicle. Sounds just like an electric car. All right. So that's it for this episode. I'm going to say, uh, once again, uh, thank you, of course, to SC Diecast for sponsoring a 10 Car Tuesday episode and providing the cars f- for the content of this video. Uh, I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you much. I hope we can do some more stuff in, in the future. Um, love going down to their shop if you ever get a chance to be able to do that. Um, if you're in this area, Google that. That's where they're at. Um, definitely check them out. Definitely check them out on Facebook first because they are, they keep regular hours sometimes, but they're usually in the evenings. These these guys do this very part-time. Um, they are, you know, they have daily jobs aside from running that little business, but they do a great job. And uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Oh, yeah, if I had to pick a favorite, I always pick a favorite, right? The, my favorite is this duster by far. And then this guy's probably second, and then that's probably third. I'm biased. So, thank you guys again. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.